I saw you recently doing an Obama health care commercial right after the election. Mm -hmm. I saw you on talking about it. What inspired you to get involved with the movement and what can we expect from Obamacare? <laughs> well, it wasn't really uh, a commercial for Obamacare. Okay. I was asked by the California Foundation, which is a, a non-profit, it's non-partisan by the way, it doesn't okay. have Republican or Democratic ties, uh, but they're interested in the well-being of Californians. Okay. And so it's a big state, they usually have the, the, the guard. They realized that their citizens weren't taking advantage of what the federal government had passed, mm -hmm. which was legislation that would allow you to have insurance if you were a kid until the age of 26, uh, that would give you access to care even if you had pre existing conditions, simple things like that. Mm -hmm. So the California Endowment, uh, and I, I work with them closely. I, I, I chaired uh, a couple of health summits for Governor Schwarzenegger. I chaired the last White House Town Council, Health Town Council that was held, Town Hall rather, that was held here in Los Angeles. Uh, two years ago, so I, I, I had some experience with them, and I knew they were a reputable group. And we shot a commercial because I was out here uh, opening a health course school. Health course is a foundation I have that mm -hmm. teaches uh, kids about their bodies. Okay. And we run it in high schools around the country. So I was in Sacramento with the mayor there, mm -hmm. uh, and talking about these schools. So uh, you know, I was close by. We shot the commercial, and it was primarily designed to get folks to sit up straight, look around, and realize that there's help for you if you can't get health care. Because mm -hmm. you know what, you cannot have a wealthy nation if you're not a healthy nation. Mm -hmm. Now, with regard to the broader policies, I can tell you, I don't care which health care plan you think will work, they're all going to fail. They will all go bankrupt unless we deal with health care. Education. Yeah, it's all about fighting health battles where they can be won, which is in our homes. We will win health in America in our kitchens, in our living rooms, in our bedrooms. That's ultimately what people have to start thinking about. Because you know what? If you're thin like you two are, if you're not smokers, if you're doing smart things about your physical activity in your life and the personal relationships you have, you're going to live longer and you're going to cost us less. Because right. you're not going to be in the hospital getting your legs amputated and getting dialysis and heart surgery, which is what I do. You don't need any of that stuff, if usually, if you take care of the other big things in your life. And that's where I think as a nation we need to wake up. There are a couple of simple things we can all do. You know, some of it has to do with energy policy. Some of it has to do with our own health. But they all come together to make us the greatest nation on the planet. And if we don't focus on that, we can't wait for anybody in Washington to make that happen for us.